for a simple person like me if i'm hosting application i wouldn't mind or i wouldn't aim at having a thousand instances running all the time for my applications but yes i would need something that would be minimal and sturdy so i would think of having an architecture with around three instances with the auto scaling group and those will be my on demand instances i am fine paying 15 dollars per month for my usage or the computational power that i need and i will have a balance between the expense and the budget but if i was a multinational corporation or well to do startup or even a modest software company my usage of computational resources will be leaps and bounds ahead of what it will be for an individual or a single person hosting its application and yes it can range from hundreds to thousands of instances mostly which will depend on the demand of my customer but if the demand keeps on increasing the company will incur huge costs to maintain the service and provide computational power and the balance with the expense and budget will be down way south and this is the situation for me where if aws provides me with some form of savings money that would actually help my company's budget and i can save it for other valuable operations and for that we need to plan things and we need to think of a long term solution and that is what we will be getting when we use aws savings plan so let's see what it has to offer So AWS Savings Plan provides you with a flexible pricing model for AWS compute services which can help you save up to 72% on AWS compute usages. With AWS Savings Plan, Amazon offers lower prices on Amazon EC2 instance usage regardless of what your instance family is or size or what kind of operating system you use or what tenancy you have set or which region it belongs to. and this also applies to aws fargate and aws uh, lambda in case if you want to migrate from ec2 to fargate or lambda and aws savings plan actually offer incredible saving percentages just like the way you have with the reserved instances if you commit yourself that you're going to use a specific amount of computing power which will be measured in dollar per hour for a one or three year period and one or three year period doesn't mean between 1 to 3 it doesn't mean that it is going to be either 1 or 2 or 3 it means that it is either one year or it is three years okay and where can you get this or where can you get this done so you have to use your aws cost explorer and there you will get the option for aws savings plan where you can customize and create your own savings plan and it doesn't stop there actually you get much more so along with that you will get recommendations on how you can maximize your savings with this feature and you will also get performance reports and also budgeting alerts and when it comes to the offerings on the savings plan aws offers two types of saving plans so but both these plans need you to provide your commitment of usage which will be measured in dollar per hour So the first one is compute saving plan. So as per AWS, AWS compute saving plan as actually provides the most flexibility and helps you to reduce your cost by up to sixty six percent. And I would say this is the one of the most complete saving plan because it automatically applies to the EC two instance usage regardless of the instance family. That could be if you are switching from general purpose to compute optimized or any other instance family, or it can be the size like ten GB or twenty GB. You can switch it from any other size that you want, or availability zone like uh, AP South One A or US East One A. If you are switching from any of these uh, availability zones, or if it's the OS or the tenancy, like if suppose you are trying to switch from Linux to Windows, or tenancy if you are trying to switch from shared to dedicated, or even if it's a region, like example, like let's suppose. you are trying to switch it from or you are going to migrate from india to london region the savings plan automatically applies to the changes okay and it applies to the same way to fargate and lambda usages as well considering if you wish to switch to them from ec2 and just like we can configure compute saving plans for ec2 you can as well do that the same way for fargate and lambda as well and the next one is ec2 instance saving plan so just like compute saving plan here also we get a lot of saving opportunities and it provides the lowest prices and offers savings up to 72% that's a huge saving isn't it but the most important thing to understand here is that ec2 instance saving plans apply to ec2 usage on a specific instance family in a specific aws region regardless of availability zone 
or size or OS or tenancy. So I hope you got the difference here. So EC2 instance saving plans help you to save the cost of EC2 instances over a specific instance family. So let's suppose you apply it to C5, then you can save or apply savings plan even if you are migrating from C5.xlarge running Windows to C5.2xlarge running Linux. It is regardless of availability zone or size or OS or the tenancy. Okay, I hope you got the point here. Let's move on. So now let's talk about how it exactly works. So this is very, very simple and you have to just go to your AWS Cost Explorer and select your saving plan and then you need to just review it if there are any recommendations that you have for a saving plan based on if you already have been using a saving plan or if your usage is higher than expected then you will get some recommendations so you just need to review them then you can either change any existing plans that you have or choose from these two that is and that is compute saving plans or ec2 instance saving plan then you can choose the payment type if you're willing to pay all upfront or no upfront or else you're willing to pay partial upfront and the term length that is either from one or three years and the next step is to provide commitment usage like like one or five or ten dollars per hour based on your usage and that's it you will get a calculated price data of how much it will cost for you and how much you are going to save obviously you can check the same in the pricing data as well just to reiterate on this once again you have to go to your cost explorer on aws select one of these saving plans that you have compute saving plans or ec2 instance saving plans and choose the plan type payment type and term length then you have to assign an hourly commitment that you have like five dollars or one dollar or ten dollars per hour that you want to have uh, that you want to give as a commitment to aws and then you get the automatic application of discounts and usages on usage across ec2 and fargate so you'll get all the details instantly okay so now let's take a look at some of the benefits of using aws saving plan so when we think of saving plans not only with aws but also in general banking patterns as well we think of how flexible the plan is and the same goes here as well so when you change your usage across ec2 or uh, fargate and uh, lambda this saving plan will automatically apply to that you don't have to configure that separately based on your changing need and today if suppose i'm using ec2 as my computing uh, unit later on i move to ecs or lambda the same plan will apply to that and the next plan we have is also very important the saving plan actually offers up to 72 percent saving in exchange for a commitment to the consistent amount of usage for a one or three year term so let's suppose you tell AWS that yes, I will commit that my hourly usage will be $5 and then you will get the saving plan price for up to that $5 and post that it will apply the same what the instance usually charges. Okay, so the decision making is very important. That is why you need to keep on checking the recommendations. And last but surely not the least is the ease of usage. So it's very easy to use. Uh, and there are like two simple steps using the AWS Cost Explorer by which you can get this done. So the first step is obviously customize your saving plan and then feed the commitment price and then add to the cart and purchase the plan. So that's very simple. And there are some of the FAQs that I wanted to share with you that I felt might be important for you and you might ask them in the comment section. So I thought why not put them across ahead of time. So the first question is how do saving plans actually work with AWS organization? and consolidated billing so what aws tells us is that saving plans can be purchased in any account within an aws organization or consolidated billing family by default the benefit provided by saving plans is applicable to usage across all accounts within an aws organizations or consolidated billing family okay so however you can also choose to restrict the benefit of saving plans to only the account that purchased them so this can be used both ways so either you can choose to restrict it to an account that has purchased it, else it can apply to all the accounts. The second question that we have here is, can I have multiple saving plans active at the same time? The answer is yes, you can. And the third one, do saving plans actually provide capacity reservation for EC2 instances? So for this, I would ask you that ask yourself this question. Okay, should a saving plan actually provide capacity reservation? Obviously, it will not provide you can get that done on the on-demand capacity reservations okay so it will not provide so the answer for do saving plans actually provide 
capacity reservation for EC2 instances is no. And the fourth one that we have here is a very valid question. So why don't we use only reserved instances? Okay, because they also provide a similar benefits to us. So the point that AWS makes here is that anyways, RIs or reserve instances will come to expire at a point of time. And you can go for a savings plan instead of that as they offer the same savings as reserved instances, but they also provide additional flexibility. But if you already have a reserved instance or if you already have reserved instances and you have a saving plan, they can work along with each other and can help you reduce overall cost. Okay, so there is an added benefit of having that. But AWS actually recommends you to go for the savings plan because it provides much more flexibility.